The 3D printer is uh, made up of a, a lot of different moving parts, but you can really simplify it into just a few. Uh, first would be the build plate, which is a heated metal plate on the bottom that all parts are built onto. Uh, from there, what actually builds the, the, the parts that you're making are the extruders up here, uh, which are heated, small, almost needle-like parts where the plastic in the back will feed into the top, get heated to 230 degrees Celsius, and melt. As you can see right here, you've got a bit of extra plastic oozing out because it's still readying the print. I can just go ahead and grab that plastic and remove it like that. And you can see how this plastic is slightly melted at the tip. And this is the principle of how 3D printing works. It melts plastic into a liquid in some very small quantities and builds them on top of each other. First of all, you would have to design all of your things on a computer first using a, a CAD program, or as we call a computer-aided design. Uh, there are a lot of programs that can be used for that, whether or not it's from Autodesk. Um, we here at UCLA IEEE use Autodesk Inventor. Um, and when you finish your program, uh, when you, your design, you put it on this uh, SD card here, stick it right into the side of the 3D printer, and you all you have to do is select which file you uh, named yours. Now, if I want to uh, print out clock button, all I have to do is hit OK, and you'll notice that the 3D printer reads the file uh, and begins the process of printing. It'll raise the build platform to the correct level of the extruders and then start uh, one by one layering on the plastic parts that make up this button. So now that the print's begun, the way it works is that there's a spool of plastic in the back of a ABS plastic which gets fed through this tube, this black tube right here, into the heated element. Uh, the heated element is at 230 degrees Celsius, uh, which is hot enough to melt the plastic. And as you can see, the build plate is a surface on which the extruder will place these, uh, these strands of melted plastic. And as the build goes higher and higher, the, uh, the build plate will automatically lower so the extruder can then place the next layer of plastic on top of the previous one, uh, ultimately uh, resulting in the print that has a shape that you designed and want as your final product. Uh, as you can see, if you look closely right now, there's a, there's a small disc at the bottom which uh, becomes a, another kind of cylinder that's a smaller diameter that fits within. Now, the printer is laying each layer on top of each other in order to do this. And, um, and it, it starts by laying down a large circle and then following, follows that by a smaller uh, cylinder that sits within, on top of that large uh, circle. Now that the print's done, the uh, build plate will automatically lower to its uh, default position and the extruders on top will go to its resting position. At this point, all you have to do is grab your print and take it off of the build plate and then you're left with your final print, which is a small button. Uh, this particular button is for a clock. Um, it's supposed to basically you know, have this button be what you push on and then this rear side clicks on something else onto a circuit board or another sensor.